Hey guys, today we're talking about what 5 star you might want to pull for, and also we're going to go over the banners. So as far as which 5 star you might want to pull for, we're going to go over that later in the video. But first we need to talk about the banners and how the characters are split up. Right now there are two pools of characters. There are your standard banner characters, and then your, there are your featured banner characters. So your standard banner characters are going to be on a permanent banner. So right now there are five standard banner characters that we know about. This could change for release, there might be more added. And there are six featured characters. So the standard banner characters that we know about currently are Jepard, Branya, Emiko, Welt, and Clara. And our featured banner characters that we know about are Sila, Luoka, Jing, Kafka, Blade, and Silverwolf. So later in the video we'll be talking about all the featured characters. So first of all, let's talk about the standard banner characters and why you shouldn't pull for them. What I mean why you shouldn't pull for them, I mean you should not be wasting your Stellar Jade on them because there are many other ways to get these characters. So first of all, let's talk about the beginner banner. So when you first start the game, there's a beginner banner, which you, you won't see here, but I'll be put, showing a clip now on screen. So as of the beta, this beginner banner is 50 pulls, and then after the 50 pulls, after you complete it, you're guaranteed a 5 star, and that 5 star will come from the pool of standard banner characters. I'm not sure if this is going to change for release, but as of now and as of what I've seen, you're guaranteed a 5 star on the beginner banner. Now, the beginner banner is 50 pulls, and each 10 pull is 20% off. So it costs 40 pulls, you get 50 pulls. And at the end, if you haven't gotten a 5 star, you're guaranteed one. So this is your first way to get a 5 star from the standard banner pool. That is the first reason why you should not be wasting your stellar jade on the standard warp. Also, I'm not sure how long it would take, but if there's a 5 star that you were really set on getting from the standard warp, you could reroll your account since you'll have the beginner banner and then you have that 5 star guarantee. Another reason why you shouldn't spend your stellar jade is that, which we'll talk about more when we talk about the featured banners, but there is no guarantee that you will get any of these 5 stars ever. So there's a guaranteed PD count that you will get a 5 star, but that 5 star will always be a, as of right now, 1 in 5 chance of getting any of those characters. Let's say if you want Branya, you could pull all you want on the standard warp, but you might get two Japards and a Himeko, for example. You will never be guaranteed to get Branya. So the featured banner and the standard banner have different, different passes, and you get these passes from the store, so you'll be able to get these on refresh, and you'll be able to get passes this way on the reset, I'm not sure, maybe like every month or so. That's how it is in Genshin. But you'll be able to get these for the banners. And you also get these by leveling up and just by playing through the story. So that's another way to get passes to pull on the standard banner. And last reason why you shouldn't be pulling for these standard banner characters is that along with the no guarantee, the featured banners, this is speculation, but it's very similar to Genshin. So I'm going to make this assumption. So these banners have featured characters, but they're not guaranteed. And basically how it works in Genshin is there's a 50-50 chance of when you hit that 5 star, there's a 50% chance it's going to be the featured character, and a 50% chance that it's going to be a character from the standard banner pool. This is your third way because inevitably you will lose some of these 50-50s and get 5 stars from this banner. Okay, cool. So if there's a 5 star that you want from the standard banner, I feel for you. But you really should not be spending your Stellar Jade going for this character, going for any of these characters rather. So again, right now there's five characters we know about for the standard banner, Jepard, Branya, Miko, Clara, and Welt. You'll get pulls for this banner by playing the game. You'll be guaranteed one of these five stars at the beginning of the game on the beginner banner, and you will get these characters when you lose your 50-50s eventually on the featured banners. Okay, cool. All right, now let's talk about the featured characters. Because there's six of them we know about currently. We have Sila. Luoka, Jing, Kafka, Blade, and Silverwolf. So who should you pull for out of all these characters? I've been lucky enough to use all of them as maxed out as they can be. Currently in the beta, all at level 60. Um, I would like to preface this by saying I like every single one of these characters. I think they're all great and that you can listen to me, but you should also pull for whoever you want, whether it's you want a special type or you like the character design or if they're your favorite character. Just like, just go for it, dude. Just pull for whoever you want to. But my recommendation is if you're pulling for one character, if you can only pull for one, I think you should go for Sila because she's probably the most all around good, single target, huge damage character that you can get. Maybe like a week ago, I would have said Luoka because he's a crazy healer, but also 
I think Luoka's value may decrease over time because right now Luoka and Natasha are the only healers we have in the game and Natasha you get for free so you don't need Luoka but I think he is a really good healer. If you're going for two characters you can go for Luoka and Blade because they pair so well together. Luoka can auto heal Blade when he uses his abilities. They're really good together. Again if you're not going to be able to pull for all these characters I don't think you need Kafka. I think there are other alternatives that you can use that are just as good. Though she does pair well with other characters that do damage over time, because that's what her whole kit is based around. Also, it kind of depends on what order these banners come out. Like, for example, Silverwolf, uh, her value really increases the higher level she is, because of the way that her stacks work. So she has a lot of things that count on her having a lot of debuffs on the enemies, and you just unlock more and more debuffs to inflict e more easily as you level her up. So, like, early game Silverwolf isn't as useful as, like, a good damage dealer like Sila. Basically, here's what I think. I think Sila is the best single character you could go for if you just want one. I don't think you need Kafka. Luoka and Blade pair really well together, and they're just cool to have. Jing is the best AoE lightning type that you can get. But also, you can pair Silverwolf with anyone because she can apply weakness of whatever type that your team is. So she just, if she's leveled up really high, she can just completely ignore whatever weakness the enemy has. Personally, I'm gonna start the game free to play. Maybe be a low spender. Definitely pulling for Sila. I'm hesitant to pull for Loka because I think he might get crept by other healers. But I really want Sila and Jing. And honestly, that's about it. It's really hard to say what character you should pull for just because I think they're all really good. But unless you're a whale, I don't think you need Kafka. And I don't think you need Blade. I think Sila is really good for one character. And Silverwolf has grown on me. Does this make any sense? Probably not. You should pull for who you want to. Just, uh, if you take anything away from this video and you're new and you haven't played Genshin, don't waste your money on the standard banner, because you will get those characters eventually. I think the 4-star units available are really strong, and I don't think that you'll need the type of power that comes with some of these characters for a while anyway. So yeah, I'm going for- if I'm going for one character, I'm going for Sila. Let me know what you guys think. If you're curious about how any of these featured characters' kits work or how they pair with other characters, I made a video on each of them and they'll all be linked in a playlist down below. Let me know who you guys are pulling for, I'm curious. Do you think I'm right, do you think I'm wrong? But otherwise, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See ya.